What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arm, leaning, you know I'm leaning. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to fret? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path that flows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting arms. Said I'm leaning, I'm leaning, you know I'm safe. I'm so secure from all of I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, this video is kind of brief, and I wanted to make some comments or address some uh, comments of people who have asked me about the situation in Milwaukee, y'all already know. The nutty fruitcake. Um, and, you know, do again, do I think he was racist? And they also send their prayers and condolences to all of us here in Milwaukee, which I really appreciate because um, a lot of us didn't really know. Well, we knew we were traumatized. But we didn't know just how bad we were traumatized until the series came out about Dahmer. So once it came out, it allowed open wounds to be reinfected. It allowed his family members to uh, come out, you know, make their opinions about the movie, which they have every right to. Um, however... Because once you become a part of history, you have no control over how things are handled. And this is just what I want to say to the family, some of, some of whom I know personally. And we don't see eye to eye on these, but it's okay. I still love you for your opinion, and I ask that you respect mine. I think it's very important that the victims of Jeff Dahmer are never forgotten. I am continuing to try to work with people in Milwaukee that think that it's necessary to have a memorial. At least some kind of statement, some kind of plaque, some kind of, you know, uh, slate with the individual's names on it. Because I think in society, we will sweep stuff under the rug and act like it never happened like slavery. Just act like it didn't happen and let's just start from right now and start loving each other. That's not how any of this works. This ain't how it work. You have to go out and go and clean out that old wounds. You have to scrape it out. And this is something I really learned during this Jeffrey Dahmer situation is you really have to go back in there, clean out all that junk, clean out all the wounds, clean out the dirt, clean out out the after effects 
of abuse. State your case. How do you say? Speak your speech. And then start the process of healing. Because all that is a part of healing. Okay? So, to me, to erase the people that were involved, that was victims of Dahmer, don't do me any good. For Because it feels like you just want to sweep people under the rug because you don't like their lifestyle. You don't like what they did. You don't like how they got tangled up with Jeff Dahmer. But ain't none of that. All that ain't your business. It ain't even your business how they got tangled up with him. The end of the day, they lost their lives and they shouldn't of some crazy shit. Okay? That's what the, the, you know, the bottom line is. The bottom line is and when people ask me, do I think Jeffrey Dahmer is racist? Again, I'm going to say, no, I don't think he was racist. Not in the sense of the race, you know, and when I get angry, of course I say, oh, that racist Jeffrey. No. But you're asking me an insane and rational moment. I don't think he was a racist at all. I think he was an equal opportunity murderer. And you can come down in the hood and do anything you want to most of uh, the people in the hood because either they're uncaring about themselves and they're un uncaring about you. So that is the population of the most uncaring. Because they've seen so much disappointment. They've seen so much abuse. They've seen so much mistreatment and minima, minimization and marginalized by the dominant damn society. That that's what it is. I think the problem is systemic. It will be until you break this damn racist ass system down and replace it with a system of justice. And until we as a group of people are willing to do that, you're always going to have these Jeffrey Dahmers or this shit that happens that the powers that be let slide because the person is white. Or in some cases because the person got money. All these isms and schisms got to be dealt with. Okay? Because while I don't believe he, Jeffrey, was a racist, he pulled his shit on the people that are the most vulnerable. When you see police arresting people and just throwing murders on them and throwing bad shit on them, it's because they know they don't have any resources. They know they don't have any financial stability. They know they can't get out of jail. They know they can't hire a good lawyer. So, hmm, this is easy picking. And that's what we have become for them because they've stolen all our wealth. So we can, we're not in a position. And I want to talk about it because a lot of y'all think we got in this situation on accident or because we're not worth shit. No, the dominant society stole, with the help of the United States government, stole everything from us. Our great, great, great grandparents mothers and fathers was not able to accumulate any kind of wealth because the thieves stole it. And then they got the nerve to parade it around in your face and tell you to pull yourself up by the bootstraps as if you've done something wrong. The only thing you've inherited is the abuse and the racism that they not only bestowed upon your uh ancestors they're bestowing it upon you too so unless we're willing to deal with this from a hip a real sense and not a hypocritical sense America is a place where a Jeffrey Dahmer can thrive any hood USA yeah it happened in Milwaukee could have happened anywhere anywhere Any one of these hoods that operate under white supremacy. I don't care if you don't like it. 
prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. And I'm at the age now, I don't give a damn what you think. Okay? I feel like Paul Mooney sometimes. I don't give a damn what you think. Because I thought the world would be a, a whole hell of a lot further by now. When I was a kid, they taught us to believe in America and the virtues of her. But the more you grow up, the more you see the reality of things, you see that it was all an illusion. The inmates run the goddamn asylum. Yeah, I said it. Excuse my French, but it is what it is. The inmates here, those are your people in government, the people that make up the rules. Those, those are the ones that are driving everybody else crazy. Okay? They're the ones that are insane. Racist, bigoted, and no love for humanity. Those are the ones that are crazy. To know that somebody's coming to you and telling you that this is a white man down here doing all kinds of stuff and you don't even want to investigate. Then you got black people who want to be on your side so much that they'll just turn their backs to everything that they see and they try to go with the dominant society because they feel like dominant society is better. But all you Christians out there, the Bible said, honor your mother and father that your days may be long. You may look at that as just your natural mother and father. But you have a universal mother and father as well. I am the eve of the planet. I gave birth to all these nations. And I deserve the respect that I know I'm due. And I ain't asking you for nothing because I take smile. Yes, I do. And this is the kind of attitude that we have to have walking around in this racist ass place. You can't just throw your hands up and put your head down. Marvin Gaye said, make me want to holler, throw up both my hands. It make you want to holler. But you ain't going to holler. You ain't going to. You might do it. But you're not going to give up. Because every generation got a price to pay for this madness that we experience. Every generation got to pay their own price. Okay? So I say that as a lover of humanity. Okay? I love humanity. I don't just hate somebody because of the color of their skin. That would be ridiculous. Even though I know I have to watch some of y'all now because some of y'all got the propensity to do mean things. But I don't walk around full of hatred because somebody's a different color than I am. And I wish more of us would wear that same garment. So I just wanted to make sure I clarified, clarified a few things today. I thank God that I'm on this side of the dirt again. And I woke up this morning fresh in my right mind. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers and the people that are out there. Continue to donate to the channel. Join the channel if uh, the options are available. I don't know if they are right now. But if they are, please join the channel. Let us know um, that you out there and you support. Okay? Please like the video. It don't take, it don't cost you nothing to hit the like sign. And it don't cost you nothing to watch the commercials. And I know they could be boring. But all that helps in the algorithm of things. Trust me. Okay? So those are the reasons why I'm asking you to do the, uh, um, the uh, um, likes and the shares. Because it's very important, uh, those of us as content creators, we need to know that you support us. And some of y'all been supporting me and rocking with me for a long time. But most people that su subscribe don't 
hit the like button. So I'm not acting like y'all the only ones that don't. I just hope y'all can just pick up your activity a little bit more, okay? All right, fam. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.